I got some tea for y'all, okay? Because Apple has been scamming people, okay? Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another exciting video for you guys. This is Cam Today, I'm going to be unboxing the new iPhone 11. I was due for a new phone. Well, when I say due, I mean I just wanted a new phone. And so I picked up this one. I got the iPhone 11 in white. So today, I'm going to unbox the phone for you guys. And I'm going to talk a little bit about why I chose the iPhone 11 over the iPhone 11 Pro. So we'll get into that. I'll show you guys everything. So let's just get right on into the video. Okay. So first thing first, let's open her up. This is what she looks like. I opened it already and I set the phone up and everything, but I just wanted to, you know, kind of reenact it for you guys. So this is what the phone looks like. As you guys can see, it has the two cameras. This is what the front looks like. And this is what my lock screen looks like. So the phone is a little bit smaller than my iPhone 7 Plus, but that's because the iPhone, it only has the screen now. Before, with the iPhone 7, I'll have it on this side of the screen, it had the extra white parts and the home button on the phone. So it does appear a little bit smaller than my old phone to the touch, but the screen is actually bigger, I believe. This one is 6.1 inches and my other one is like 5.5 or 5.8 so yeah the screen itself is actually bigger but the phone is a little smaller i chose white it comes in a bunch of different colors and i was honestly trying to decide between the white and the black and i didn't want to do any of the colored phones i was thinking for a brief second to get the purple one but i just feel like the colored phones look cheap and kind of childish so it was either black or white and i wish this came in gold because i would have gotten gold but i went with the white and it kind of reminds me of like my old what was it iphone 4s like with the white back it looks it reminds me of that phone and that's the phone that i had back then so i chose white because i feel like i wear a lot of clear back cases and a lot of cases where like the color will pop through and i feel like the black would kind of just be boring and like really dark and it would look a lot better with a white clear back i don't know we'll see when i put the cases on <laughs> you got the little manual it obviously comes with the headphones. These are the wire ones, not the AirPods. When I first opened it, I was like, uh, does it come with AirPods? Like, I'm very confused. No, <laughs> the wire is in there and then it comes with the charger, you know, all the basic stuff and the nugget. So that's everything that came in the box. I'm just going to go ahead and close this up. And I'm gonna put my case on because, girl, I, I can't I can't have my phone not in a case because I am clumsy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put my phone in this case. I have a couple of cases already. I will be doing a case review video. So if you guys wanna see where I got this case from and the other case I have, give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below if you wanna see that video. So an iPhone is an iPhone, obviously everything pretty much looks the same the only thing that i need to get used to is the fact that there's no home button so i kind of have to like utilize the swipe up feature to get back home but that's really the only difference i'm not going to get into too much of what's on my actual iphone if you want to know what's on my iphone and all the apps and all that stuff let me know i can make that a separate video but now without further ado let's get into why i chose the 11 over the 11 pro because i got some tea for y'all okay because apple has been scamming people okay so basically when i first decided that i'm probably gonna want to get a new phone Phone. I was having some issues with my iPhone 7 Plus and even though I had the insurance and I can get a replacement which I did end up getting a replacement because my phone just stopped working and then the replacement had issues and I was just like you know what I'm over it I'm tired of the replacements let me just get a brand new phone pay the money like whatever <sighs> at first I was sold on getting the 11 Pro and then my brother was like why are you getting that when you could just get the 11 they're not that much different like there's no point in paying the extra 200 300 dollars to get the pro when the base 11 is just as good and at first i thought he was lying because i was like like what's the difference between the phones if this one is just as good like why is it so much cheaper and basically i did my research i watched like a bunch a bunch of different videos and from what i determined 
this phone has two cameras right and the pro phones have three cameras and the third camera the only added thing that it does is zoom so you can zoom further in on the pros than you can on this phone but the quality like the settings all of that like the camera quality is exactly the same and I'll have on the screen a couple of the videos I watched that you guys can go check them out because those people are obviously more knowledgeable than me about the techie stuff but once I watched those videos and they did like side by side comparisons of the camera and showed to me that the cameras were exactly the same I saw no reason to get the pro and pay the extra $300 because it just I have a camera I obviously I record on a Canon G7X so if I need to zoom in like that close to something from really far away I'm not gonna be using my iPhone to get that shot I'm gonna be using my Canon camera which has a really good zoom so I don't need a third camera on my phone for an extra three hundred dollars no I don't I don't so I went and did some further research because another one of my like concerns was the size of the phone I don't like tiny phones like I had the iPhone 7 Plus, I didn't have the regular 7, and the size of the regular 7 was too small. It's too small, I don't like small phones, I prefer bigger phones. So, when I was looking at the iPhone 11, the iPhone 11 Pro, and the iPhone 11 Pro Max, I was leaning more towards the 11 Pro Max at first because it was the biggest phone and obviously it was the Pro version. But if you look at the price of the 11 Pro Max, it's quite expensive. It's like $1,100 or $1,200 and it doesn't have the option to get the 128 gigabyte storage. You have to get the 256. So it just, it was just looking a little bit unrealistic for me I don't need that much space on my phone right now I only used about maybe 90 something gigabytes on my old phone so 127 or 128 gigabytes is the perfect size phone for me but in order to get the pro I would have to get all that extra storage and pay all that extra money and I was kind of trying to decide mmm do I want to pay that do I not want to pay that so that was another thing the storage issue was another one of the reasons why I decided not to get the 11 Pro Max. I wanted to have 128 gigabytes or megabytes, whatever bytes. <laughs> I wanted to have that mid-size storage. Another thing, one of the major differences that they're advertising between the base 11 and the 11 Pro and the 11 Pro Max is that the 11 Pro versions have a better screen. And let me just look up the specific name of it so that I don't mess it up. So, the iPhone 11 Pros have a Super Retina HDR display and the iPhone 11 only has a Liquid Retina HD display. So basically, the Pro phones are supposed to have like this really beautiful screen and the color is supposed to be more vibrant and like the screen itself is supposed to be better quality. But when I went to Verizon and looked at the two phones in the store, I, to my eye, couldn't really see a difference between the two. Obviously, there is a difference, like one screen is made with better quality and the other one is just like regular I guess but to my eye to the untrained eye you really can't tell the difference between the screen and when I'm talking about the screen I mean like the actual screen itself like what you see on the screen of the phone so that's the biggest difference between the two phones is the screen and you can't even tell the difference I was just like meep and then the last thing that was like the straw that broke the camel's back whatever you call it like that saying <laughs> the last thing that really sold me on getting the 11 was the size look at this y'all I'll have something on the screen for reference the iPhone 11 which is the one I have the screen display is 6.1 inches right okay the iPhone 11 Pro comes in two sizes the 11 Pro is 5.8 inches, which is smaller than the 11, and the iPhone 11 Pro Max is 6.5 inches. So, the iPhone 11 Pro Max is significantly bigger than this phone. This phone is 6.1 inches and the iPhone 11 is 6.5, so if you want a really, really big phone, go for the Pro Max. But, the 11 Pro is smaller than this but it costs more money like i was 
in confusion when I realized that and I kept thinking that I was like looking at the wrong thing because in my head I would think the 11 would be the smallest, the 11 Pro would be the next bigger one, and the 11 Pro Max would be the biggest one. But really, that is not how the sizing goes at all. The 11 Pro is the smallest one, the base 11 is the mid-size one, and the 11 Pro Max is the biggest one. So once I realized that this phone was bigger than the 11 Pro, I was like, let's pack it up y'all. I'm getting the 11, I'm not getting the 11 Pro because it just... It just didn't make sense for me personally. So before I go ahead and end this video, I just want to insert some footage from the phone so that you guys can see how great the quality is. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot a video with the front camera. So this is footage from the front camera. Looks like amazing. Like it's almost too good. Like you could see all of my pores, honey. <laughs> And then we're going to go ahead and shoot a video with the back camera. Hopefully I can see. Just so that you guys can get an idea of what the quality is like. I think I covered everything that I wanted to say in this video. And I hope that my thoughts weren't like all over the place. Because <laughs> I am not a tech genius. I am not like this like iPhone wizard that like knows all the specs and details so I kind of had to do a lot of research and you know try to explain this to you guys the best way that I know how but pretty much I feel like getting the 11 Pro is a scam there's no point of getting that phone and paying more for it because the 11 is just as good. It is just as good. Argue with me in the comments if you disagree. I know people really love like iPhone unboxing, iPhone related videos. So I hope this video was informative. Let me know in the comments down below what phone you have. And let me know what other videos you guys want to see next from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of your love and support. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And turn on your post notifications so that you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. I will see all of you beautiful people in my next one. Bye!